Today's the day where we start season three of Moral Oral. And by the way, if you missed the season two finale of Moral Oral, I'll put a thing right here so that way you can go watch it before watching this. The end of season two was heartbreaking. But anyway, I just want to start. If you want more Moral Oral, then leave a like on this video and subscribe. All right, so the intro once again has changed. This is the intro normally. Now we have this sad, like, string music. It's not a guitar. Hope we come up with a fail-safe plot to piss off the dumb few that forgave us. Whoa. Normally, God rips the roof off the church. Last second, it just cut to Oral's house. That was cool. Also, it's so sad that this is the final season of Moral Oral. From what I heard, Moral Oral got canceled because it got way too serious, even for Adult Swim standards. So I'm gonna make sure that I enjoy every second of this season. Fall down beneath their own by the way, quite a few of you told me that Numb is probably one of the best episodes in all of Moral Oral and one of the best season premieres ever. So I am very excited. Burn a few blocks from here. Someday burns down. First off, it's crazy that this married couple has a divider in between them, but that's understandable knowing Clay and Blaberta. Also, just looking at this frame, I'm sure both Clay and Blaberta are both in an emotional mess, but it seems like Clay really just wants someone to hold. But then again, I'm pretty sure he's gay, so he's not looking for Blaberta, but probably uh, Oral's gym teacher. I forgot his name. And I never come back to this time. Also, Clay's pillow is super dirty. I have two guesses. Either he never cleans it, which is probably true regardless of what I'm gonna say. I can't tell if that's just like him sweating maybe at night. I don't know, like either it's really dirty from never washing it or it's also from him just crying every night. Cause I'm pretty sure a white pillow will turn that color if you cry on it every night and don't wash it. I know nothing about that because I never cry. <laughs> and tell everyone you were a good wife and I hope you die. Also, these lyrics are very very interesting, to say the least. See you in two days. Up and at a moral. Those animals aren't gonna shoot and mount their own heads themselves. Oh, this is a prequel. Because the season two finale was a two-parter where Clay and Oral went camping. A lot of crazy shit happened. So this is gonna show the camping trip from Bloberta's standpoint or view. I've read a lot of your comments and pretty much this season is going to show who Bloberta is as a person. Because the first two seasons kind of just plays her as like a, a super side character. She never has anything to say. And when she does, it's mainly just criticizing Clay. I've always defended Blaberta. A lot of you told me that this season, I'm gonna see who Blaberta really is. I'm pretty excited. Oh, that's my favorite lucky shirt. Oh! <laughs> um, um, what? So that's how we're starting, huh? I don't know if I'm allowed to say what she was doing because I don't want to get this video age restricted, but for the kids watching, let's just say she was pleasing herself. Who am I kidding? Most kids these days know all about that kind of stuff. So sorry, I'm just old school. Side note, who is this guy in the painting? That's obviously not Clay. Also, the obvious thing that I should point out is that Blaberta isn't feeling anything, which I'm assuming is corresponding to the episode's name, which is Numb. This episode episode already has a completely different feeling to it compared to the last two seasons. Like it's been about a minute and a half and not a single joke has been spoken or told. <laughs> Dildo. Miss Estesi electric rolling pin. Are these actual sex toys or are these like power tools that she's using as sex toys? What? I'm so confused. It's like deathly quiet too. Like no background music is playing. It's this kind of stuff that makes me like, it puts me on my toes, you know? Oh, there's the guy. Also, that's a young Blaberta. So do they just have history then or? Well, no, that can't be because Oral is older than Shapey. So Blaberta had to have cheated on Clay. Oh, and if any of you are wondering why the picture of Shapey is different from the Shapey that just popped up, that's not actually Shapey. That's a different family's kid that got switched after like a family party. It wasn't really a family party. It was more just a family moved in. So they had like a get together and their kids were like the exact same. I can't tell if Bilberta and Clay actually know it's not their kid or if they just don't care. The only person that actually acknowledges that it's not actually Shapey is Oral. Okay. Yummy. For 
fuck's sake. Okay, I guess that just answered my question. No, Blaverta had no idea that it wasn't her actual kid. She's just realizing that now, and that happened like early season two. <laughs> Wait, that other mother, not other mother, sorry, I'm thinking of Caroline now. She's just gonna let Blaverta have her kid as well? Cake. Cake. Yummy? Yummy. Mine? Mine. <laughs> Serious shit aside, that's actually so wholesome. Cause this is the first time I've actually ever seen Shapey smile. He's actually happy, that's so sweet. How does this show do it? How does this show make me uneasy, mad, sad, angry, but in a second later, it can just make me happy? This show is insane. I haven't even finished the show yet and this needs a reboot. Well, you liked me once. What happened? I needed to get closer. To me? No. To him. I'm sorry. Oh wait, I don't care. <laughs> Every adult in this town is grade A garbage. Literally besides Stephanie and Reverend Putty, like Every other adult is, they're just assholes. So it seems like Blaberta is just trying to feel something. She's just trying to be happy. Blaberta, what brings Reverend, you- Reverend, I want you. Uh, I, uh, I'm sorry? I need you. I have this- Feeling. Oh, well, uh, meet me at the church repression. No, uh, I want to be with you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Reverend Putty is like the most horned up person in this entire show. So having a woman finally come up to him and say this, oh, he's definitely busting one quick. Can I say that on YouTube? I never know what I can say on YouTube because I'm trying to swear less, but at the same time, YouTube will just age restrict my video for no reason. I want your mind, your body. Oh, I want to get close to you oh, in any uh, way, <clears throat> touch you anywhere on oh, yours. Me. All yours. I'm done. What? I'm done. Go away. Go a million miles away. Did you see his pants? The claymation people actually gave him a woody. Also, him screaming just sounded a lot like... It sounded a lot like Rigby from regular show. Editing CAJ, is the voice for Reverend Putty the same as Rigby? That sounded a lot like Rigby. Oh no, she's not. I have a suspicious feeling that something is about to happen. I really hope it doesn't. Hello, Mr. Noham. Haven't seen you in a while. What can I do for you? Could you refresh my memory? The eye with all the uh, cylindrical- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up and in. <laughs> no hammers hardware. Yes, we have hammers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good joke. But also, again, this show is just, even in the most serious episode up to this point, it just throws in a good little joke. This show is so good. Hmm. Caution, keep away from women and children. So these aren't actually sex toys. These are actually houseware tools or whatever you want to say. Dude, she's gonna hurt herself. Oh no. No, please don't. Is this what you guys meant? Is she just soulless? Is she just like never happy? Is that what you guys meant by she's not who I think she is? Guys, I knew she was soulless the first two seasons. It's obvious that she does not give any shit in the world. No, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. That's some injury, Mrs. Puppington. Mm -hmm. It's bad well bad is relative is this doctor finding pleasure from her mutilating herself there's no way the show would go that far before i accuse this man let's actually hear what he has to say i became a doctor because blood and injuries don't affect me the way they do most normal people the good lord gave me the gift of not being disgusted by horrible lacerations or evulsions Ugh. Ugh, ugh, ah! That's so unholy. What the hell? Even the devil's watching this show and just cringing. Like I said, most adults in this town are awful, but I never knew they were this bad. I feel so dirty right now, ugh. So, do I need stitches? No! Alberta's gonna finally start feeling happiness in this. Ugh. Take two pills every six hours or whatever. They're just a high level painkiller that'll simply repress those nagging warning signs you get. Oh no. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to upload this on YouTube. Keep on doing whatever it is you're doing. Don't change your habits in the name of health or any other new agey claptrap. Mm-hmm. If 
if you're seeing this video, it's probably gonna be really edited because a lot of this shit I can't even I can't even post. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> This show is messed up. What the fuck is going on? I don't understand. There's no change from this morning. Why are you back here showing me this? And now the doctor is gonna stop caring about her because he only cared about her hurting herself. Well, then you can go. Go. Yeah, sure, fine then. Just pay Nurse Bendy on the way out. You can't even bear to look at me. Excuse me. I need to help my other patients now. Scum. Absolute scum. I'm not saying that I hate this doctor more than Clay. He's getting there. I want to quickly point out that this scene is fucking brilliant. We've never had a first person view before in this show. And giving it to Bliberta and just seeing how the other men in Oralton treat her, really good. <laughs> Yes, Clay Puppington. <laughs> Speak of the fucking devil, huh? And yes, I chose my words carefully there. Clay is the devil. Hell, Clay is worse than the devil. Yes, Clay, what can I do for you? Oral? Well, who shot him? Oh, <laughs> had a few too many highballs, eh? Well, bring him in and I'll discreetly treat the boy. You better go. Oh, the director just cooked there. The second that he mentioned that Oral got shot, she turned her head for like a couple seconds and then just looked away, really showing how little Roberta cares. And they didn't even say a word. Mwah. Oh, beautiful director work. Oh my God, I love it. Also, it seems like we're about to go first person mode onto Clay's perspective. Why did you marry dad? Oh, well. <laughs> Why not? So now it's taking place at the end of season two, part two, nature. That's just his true nature coming out. <laughs> oh my God, that face that she just gave Clay. I'm so happy that this is in first person. I just felt all of her emotions just go away as if I was Clay. And we end the episode off where we started. Mm. This show is just... If the show keeps doing shit like this, my favorite show of all time is BoJack Horseman. BoJack Horseman truly changed the way that I see things in life. Mora Oral is right here. This is probably the best show I've watched in a long time. Early this year, I binged all of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was really good. I guess I just never got fully into it. This show is hitting every single key for me. Every single thing I love about a great TV show, this one episode just knocked it out of the park. Unbelievable. What a fantastic way to start season three. You can tell the directors have a completely different goal this season. Hey, I'm here for 